Hey you guys, it's your girl Lokita and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be more like a girl talk. We're going to talk about um, how you can build your self-confidence, how I built my self-confidence and how I got through my insecurities and maybe the things that I say or like it can help you with you getting through or building up your confidence and getting through your self insecurity so this is like what more of a girl talk because i feel like self insecure i mean self-confidence insecurities morals all like that go hand in hand so we're just going to talk about all those types of things and you know let's get straight into the video okay so like i said you know this video is going to be self-confidence and insecurities and all that there so boom so, me personally, self-confidence is like you feeling good in yourself, you um, like you feel like real confident in yourself, like nobody can't tell you nothing, like you is the bomb, you is the ish, like all that there. So, like me personally, I really didn't have any self-confidence while I was in high school. I Well, I'm not going to say high school, once I got about to 11th grade, 12th grade, that's when I start building my own self confidence. Like, and like my ninth and tough grade year, like I wasn't even focused on myself. I'm not gonna lie. I was more focused on my friends around me and just fitting in, I should say. But yeah, I really started building my own self confidence in eleventh, twelfth grade year because twelfth grade year I ended up going to a different school. So like I was by, I'm not gonna say I was by myself, but none of my friends went to my new school. So it was like. I had to meet new people, get new friends. I mean, I still have my old friends, but at a new school, you know, I want to have friends there too. So, I get new friends, boom, stuff like that. So, with that, that's when I really, like, start being aware of myself. Me having confidence in myself that I can do certain things. And just me being, like, that's when I feel like I start getting to know myself. Like, so... Um, with the insecurities part, that's why I said I didn't really have confidence until I got to 11th, 12th grade, because I had a lot of insecurities. I'm not going to say that I got, I got through a lot of my insecurities. I mean, I really don't have any now, because I embrace every insecurity that I had, or had. Like, everybody knows, you might know me, we all know, matter of fact, I got a big forehead. That's just a known fact. Like, okay, so... Middle school, high school, everybody's looking for my forehead. I'm like, all right, like, but I feel like that's the only thing people hate on me for. Real. But see, with ripping, I used to get disrespectful and I did not care because I feel like you're gonna come for me and I'm gonna come for you. But I'm just gonna be meaner, like, because don't worry about it. Like, it, I used to get to a point like I used to like, how can I say that? I used to care because I'm like, y'all still working on me, yeah, I feel some type of way. But then once I start being disrespectful, I'm like, oh, Kita, you're so mean, like. No, like y'all not about to keep ripping on me and I'm just gonna sit there. But that's what comes with high school, middle school, and school you go to. I feel like you just wanna go through the ripping stage and that's just what it is. So but yeah, everybody now got a big forehead and I mean that's the only thing people used to really say. Me personally, I I got a big forehead but I was also insecure about my body and stuff like that. Because I feel like a lot of dudes always wanted to talk to me because at a certain point in time in my life, like my boobs just start growing out of nowhere, so I just felt like a lot of people was using me for that, and everybody thought I was easy. But mind you, listen, I like I was not that easy girl in high school. I was not having sex in high school, none of that. Like I was, like I'm not gonna say I was an angel because I was not no angel, but <laughs> I definitely like being that I lived with my dad. I knew my boundaries and I knew what to do in those types of situations so yeah i wasn't into all that anyway like it wasn't just, it wasn't me you feel me so that's how i started but like i said i was insecure about my body i was insecure about my forehead like it was just i was insecure more about my physical trait than anything else like my personality is a 10 like if anybody that knows me like I, my personality is up there like i'm funny like i'm just a 
good person to be around. So it was nothing about my personality, nothing like mentally. It was just like my physical appearance. So it was that. And I mean, that was really it. So like, once, like I said, once I got to 11th, 12th grade year, more so 12th grade year, one out of 12, I really just started like, I don't care what y'all think about me. I do not care who's judging me. I don't care what y'all got to say about me. Cause I didn't think, guess what? I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And that's just what it is, like period. So that's when I start building up that confidence. Like I don't care anymore. Like I wanna do what I wanna do. This is me, take me who I am or peace, okay? So that was just like a point in my life. But once I started going to college, I really like, and once I met my boyfriend, like, I, I was still, you know, look like this, look like that. But, and, and I used to not please myself either. Like, I used to please other people. Like, the way I used to, like, I'm not going to say the way I used to dress because I still dress, like, semi that way. But the way I would dress and the way I would do things, it was to please other people. I was not pleasing myself. Like, I used to do things to please other people. And I'm just, and I, and I got to a point where... I can't please, I can't keep pleasing people because guess what at the end of the day y'all not pleasing me y'all not worried about my health y'all not worried about what I'm doing so it's just like everything I do now everything I I'm doing now is for me it's for myself it's for my family like that's just that like hold on I'm thirsty <laughs> but yeah and like when I was in high school, like people used to be like, oh, you're not going to graduate because you don't do this, you don't do that. Like, I graduated, you feel me? Like, so I like I had people talking down bad on me, like literally. So, people count me out. I'm like, okay, okay. Graduated. Okay. You ain't going to college. Went to college. Still in college. Mm-hmm. Okay. You just like keep counting me out because I want y'all to. So, when I do do big things. Don't come to me like, oh, I knew you was going to do this because no, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> but yeah, like, honestly, my self-confidence got, like, after, like I said, after I left high school, that's when I really just stopped caring about what people think of me. Like, I don't care no more. I don't care because, like I said, I want to be me. So, like, that confidence, I'm, it's, I'm going to say for myself, it came out of nowhere because I did not have this confidence back then. And to me, it really came out of nowhere, and I and I love it because it's like I went. I feel like I went through a lot, and I went through so many changes. And for me to go through so many changes, go through stuff in my life, I'm just like, I really made it, and I need the whole world to know. Like, and like even with my insecurities, like I feel like any female, I feel like we all have insecurities some type of insecurity if you don't that's freaking wonderful keep going keep doing what you're doing period but if you do like just attack them insecurities just say like you're pretty you're awesome like nobody er, look listen everybody's going to judge somebody that's just like somebody's going to judge you you don't you may not even know but they're going to judge you they're going to look at you and be like oh this that the third let them do that let them count you out let them tell you you ain't ish. Let them tell you all that. Because guess what? That's just going to make you stronger at the end of the day. I let people literally sit there talk down bad on me. I let people do this, that, the third. Yeah, it may hurt. But guess what? That only makes you stronger. Period. Like, stuff that was said to me only made me stronger at the end of the day. Like, yeah, like I said, it hurt it. It hurts. Period. Like, that's just, we're human. I mean, we have emotions. So, some people won't say some mean things. And yes, it's going to hurt but that stuff makes you stronger and when like with me, with me like i'm <laughs> me personally i'm not even gonna lie i'm a very emotional person so somebody may have said something to me and i would probably cry but i had to grow thick skin because like you can't be crying in front of people because some like that really shows to them your weakness like, when I get real mad, I cry. People just say, oh, she's a punk. No. Like, when I get mad, I cry. That's just something I do. Like, so, yeah. But with your confidence, like, you need to feel confidence in yourself. Every day you walk out the house, you need to know that you're confident. You need to know that you're going to do right. You need to be motivated. Like, I try, I try to tell, <laughs> I try to tell them something. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm getting tongue twisted. 
I try and tell myself every day that I'm beautiful. I'm going to graduate college. Like, I, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm going to graduate college. Like, no, yep, I'm going to get judged every day. But guess what? It's okay. The school stuff and everything else is making me stronger. So when I'm ready to go out in the real world, I'll know what to be prepared for. And with like your self-confidence and building your self-confidence, I'm not, no, it doesn't, like if you already have self-confidence, that's wonderful. Like I said, keep doing what you're doing. But if you're trying to build your self-confidence and you're trying to, how can I say this? You're trying to build your self-confidence and you're trying to get over anything you're getting over, you have to talk within yourself and one thing i have learned with my journey is you have to talk to god i'm not like those are the two things that i have learned and like you have to like some people you have to get through other things to get your confidence back like because some something may have happened when you was younger some may have happened with when you was just in any type of age, something may have happened and your confidence shut down. Something to me happened and like I had to put my confidence back up. But that's why I said something may have happened, you gotta build your confidence back up. There's nothing wrong with that. Because at the end of the day, you will get your confidence back at some point in time. What point in time, we will never know because it takes time to, to do everything. So. That confidence has to come back and once you keep going each and every day and I feel like your confidence will definitely build up as you go like my confidence in school I swear to God when I first started I shouldn't say I swear to God I swear to goodness when I first started college I'm like I can't like my first thought was I cannot do this like because I had people tell me I couldn't like you're not gonna make it in college so my first thing was I can't do this I'm not gonna be able to do this like what am I gonna do but I swear as I kept going through school and I keep going through college, I'm my confidence shot off the roof. Like I like I go to school like, oh I can do this now. Like stuff has become so easy for me that the stuff that I used to think is hard, I learned so fast. Literally. So it's just all within you and you building yourself up and you going day by day thinking or knowing you can do this. You can get through the day. Like and I feel like you'll be fine, even with your physical appearance. Like I said, I had insecurities about my physical appearance. Now I love myself more than ever. Okay, like and I feel like if you're in a relationship, any type of relationship, you have to love yourself before you love somebody else. Like you cannot sit there and say I love you to somebody else if you don't love yourself. Cause how, like, how can you love somebody else if you don't love yourself? And I'm not even gonna lie. My boyfriend definitely helped me build my confidence up too. Like, cause like I said, I I didn't like my body, my forehead, none of that. But like all my life, I knew I had a big forehead. Everybody know I got a big forehead, and and like I said, that's the only thing people would talk about for me. Like, and I'm just like, I know I got a big forehead. So you know what? We just gonna embrace this for it. Like I I used to not wear certain hairstyles because of my forehead. Like middle part, you would never see me in middle part in high school. The only thing I had was side parts, bangs, and. I had plots at a point in time, but I stopped. I don't know what happened with the camera, you guys, but like I said, I didn't wear certain hairstyles, and that just stopped me from exploring, you know, different things, different hairstyles, stuff like that. And that all falls into being confident in yourself. Like, you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in. You have to believe that you're going to get that next job. You have to believe that you're going to get through college. You have to believe that you're going to be that. Matter of fact, you have to believe that you're beautiful, okay? That, and you have to believe in yourself. Like you have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, everything will crumble. I know this for a fact. Like everything will not go as planned. So believe in yourself. Be confident in yourself because you are beautiful. You are amazing. So with that being said, that really concludes everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed because I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. So make sure to subscribe, click that notification bell so you won't miss another video. Also. Make sure you get me to 150 subscribers because if I get to 150 subscribers, matter of fact, when I get to 150 subscribers, I have a huge surprise for you guys. And if you may or may have not watched any of my videos, there will also be in the link in the description below as well as my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. 
and I will see you guys in the next uh, video. I don't play no games. I let that go in. Cardi air frames. Smoking propane. Bitch, I'm ballin', ballin'. Just like King James. Yeah, your bitch keep on calling.